Hey everyone, uh, good afternoon. My name is Brant Levine. I am the uh, Director of Training and Adoption over at Inside Real Estate. And today I'm gonna walk you through open houses. So open houses are obviously a very, very powerful tool to not only get your listing sold, but to also build your database. And the most important element of an open house and getting a listing is to actually get more listings. So I'm gonna talk you through some tactical tips and tricks on how to do that, some scripts that you can use, and some tools within the KB Core platform that you should be leveraging to make the most out of your open houses. So the first thing we're gonna discuss with open houses is, when I have an open house, I have the sign in the ground. What's the first thing I'm gonna do? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to match buyers to that house in KB Core. And again, if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to suggest that you look up matching buyers in KV Core. We have a playbook that's dedicated just for that. Um, and we're going to send out an email that sounds something like this. Again, we have a pre-fabricated um, email for this exact purpose. One of the ones that I recommend is in the subject line, guess what I'm doing this weekend? And then just in the body of the email, hi, their name, hope all is well with you. This weekend, I'll be holding a just on the market listing at with the address open from the time. If you're in the neighborhood, stop by. I would love to see you. If you know someone who's looking for, describe the property, maybe include a picture or two, feel free to forward this along to them. Make sure you watch the video. I hope to see you soon. Now, time out. I just said video. Why would I say that? What would I want in this video? Well, I'm gonna say this. Everyone out there is so scared what they look like, what I appear like. Forget all that. Forget all that. You look great, right? Do your makeup, do your hair, put on nice clothes. The day that you're taking pictures, grab an associate, grab a friend, hell, do it via selfie and give a tour of that house, just like you would to a buyer. Put that on YouTube, get it out there, share it on your social media channels. And when you share this specific email that I just said to you, include that link in the email. Include that link in the email. That is your first step. So you're going to hit those matching buyers or buyers that you know that might be interested. And again, there's a lot of information in the KB Corp platform um, regarding, regarding how to do that. And you're going to send out that email with that video. I know some of you are camera shy. You're scared. Again, I've heard it all. Brand, I don't like the way I sound. I don't like the way I look. No one cares. No one cares. They just want to see the house. So the day you do pictures, go through it. And I've heard this excuse too, when I was uh, director of sales and ops on our real estate team. Well, you know, when I take pictures, I'm not really dressed that nice because, you know, I'm going to be moving furniture. Great. Bring a change of clothes. Bring a change of clothes. Because at the end of the day, this house, again, is not just about this transaction. It's not just about this transaction. It's about getting other listings. And when whatever you do for this listing, that's what your future prospects or future sellers are going to see. And they're going to make a determination whether or not they want you to be their listing agent. So every listing is there to get you your next listing. So when you send out this email, keep that in mind. That's the first thing you're going to do. The second thing you're going to do, I call it the neighbor door knock. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to think to ourselves, we're going to knock on our neighbor's doors or these neighbors are towards the open house three times. Once we're going to knock when we first get that listing, then we're going to lock knock when we get it under contract. And we're going to knock a third time when we close the house. Here's what those scripts sound like. I'm going to knock, knock, knock. Hi, this is Brant from XYZ Real Estate, and I'll be hosting a special open house at this date and this time. Now, I'm going to take a second. I want to have a pre-open house for the neighbors. Why do I do that? Well, let me get into the script and then I'm going to explain in a second after. Did you know this home was for sale? Give them the flyer invite. I promised the seller that I would get the word out in the neighborhood. And I was curious, who do you know that might want to live in our area? Get them thinking, get them invested, right? Because that's what you're doing. You're getting their buy-in. You're getting them invested in the process. And not only for you, but for their neighbor, don't they want to help out? But think about this. When they're ready to list their home, wouldn't they want that same level of questioning for their neighbors, right? 
And you're not asking anything explicit or violating any fair housing rules. You're just asking them, who do you want to know that would want to live here? Maybe it's for mom. Maybe it's for dad. Maybe it's a friend. They want to live close, move from the city into the suburbs, right? Then I'm going to say, wonderful. Again, it's this date, this time, feel free to stop by. And again, it's early, right? So you're getting them that little preview, making them feel special. Why? Because it's about trying to get their listing. But we're going to say this instead. I'd love to show you the home. By the way, who do you know that is potentially interested in selling their home? You didn't ask if they're interested in selling their home. You asked who they know is potentially interested. That is critical. That's a critical component because it removes that wall. It brings down the barrier. It's no longer about, I want to sell your home too. No, I didn't say that. I don't have commission breath. Who do you know? Asking for referrals. Now think about this. This is the first time I'm meeting them. First time I'm meeting them. And I'm going to have this killer open house. And I'm going above and beyond what most real estate agents do by knocking the first time. But I'm going to knock a second time when the deal goes under contract. And I'm going to say something like this. Hey, nice to see you again. One, two, three, Banana Street just went under contract. When it closes, I'm going to come back and let you know what it's sold for. Did you know anyone who came to the open house and ask for referrals? Who are they working with? Things like that. What did they think about it? Would they be interested in seeing other homes in the area? Right? So many people think about open houses in just this linear fashion. Like I'm going to have an open house. I'm going to get leads. No, man, it's far beyond that. It's far beyond that. Because what we want to do is we want to really get to understand who, what the neighbors are looking at, what they're thinking of. But we also want to build out. We want to build out, not just down. And now they're referring their friends. They're referring their family members. They're referring more people. Hey, yeah, my friend Joe actually came to the open house. He was working with an agent, didn't really like that agent. What's the process if they want to work with you instead? Now my network is growing and I'm growing into their network, right? Great. Let me get their info, write it down. By the way, I'm going to ask again, who do you know is potentially interested in selling their home? Mind you, I didn't, again, ask if they're interested. I'm asking who they know. Critical. Because maybe that first time they didn't give you a referral because they didn't know you. But now they, they met you. They came to the open house. Their friends have really liked you. Think about what you're doing here. You're building out your network and establishing true value to them. Now I'm going to knock a third time when the home closes. And I'm going to say, hey, nice to see you again. One, two, three, Banana Street sold for this price. Did you know anyone who came to the open house that we didn't speak about last time we spoke? Did they put in an offer? Right? Oh, man, they lost. Would they be interested in seeing other homes in the area? Great. Yeah, I, you know, I have a couple of listings coming up. I'd love to show them. Right? Again, I'm gonna, I'll give them a call right after this. I'm going to ask a third time. By the way, who do you know is potentially interested in selling their home? I'm asking three times. I've spoken to them three times. And imagine in a normal neighborhood, you have probably 10 to 20 homes that you could easily knock on their doors. That's 60 real estate related conversations in a very short amount of time. Do you think at least one of those people is going to give you a referral? Two, maybe three? Yes. Yes. Right. So not only have you potentially added those 20, 30 people into your downline now, right? But you've recruited all the people that they're talking to. You've just got free leads. And I always say this, in the real estate industry, you're all small business owners. I'm not someone that is ever opposed to buying lead generation, but I will say, as a small business owner, you have to throw around nickels like they're manhole covers. You have to think with your money as if it's really tight, because it is. But an open house is a great way for you to build that database out and get that top funnel growth. Because I'll always say to any real estate agent, especially ones who say, Brand, I'm referral based. Great. You have this engine, i.e. KV core, but we got to fill it with gas. And your contacts, your sphere, your prospects, that's all in there. But eventually the gasoline runs out. How do we keep getting 10 to 15 leads per month in our database? An open house is a brilliant way to do that. 
It's a brilliant way to do that because it could start expanding that. But so many people think of just the people that sign up for their open house. They're not thinking about the neighbors. They're not thinking about those referrals. And by the way, every single person I call that attended the open house, and I call everybody, I call everybody, I ask them, who do they know? If they came with a real estate agent, I'm going to have conversations with that real estate agent. I want them to be part of my network. They're part of my friendship group now. If I'm with a brokerage that um, exemplifies recruiting, I mean, yeah, I'm going to leverage that, right? And I'm going to try to leverage them into my recruiting platform as well. Everyone who comes to my open house has a conversation. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this door knocking strategy, which I hope you all apply in that email strategy that I spoke to you about. And we're going to talk to you about the kind of conversation you have at that open house. Well, before I do that, I want to take you through some of the tech. Let's have a conversation about the tech. Well, we have an open house app that I want everyone to use. Why do I want you using this piece of technology? Well, the easiest thing to do is have it open on a tablet. I, I personally, when I was in uh, production, I was using just a regular Apple iPad. And I would have the app open with a hotspot running from my phone generally. And I would hand off the tablet and have them sign in. Why did I do that? Because their information goes directly into my database. And I'm going to go over the script that I use. And again, I used it for everyone. I used it for everyone. And everyone sign in. All their information was in my database. And again, it's just an easier way of cataloging everything. And if you have automations turned on, which I highly suggest you have, you will start emailing and texting them from the moment they put that in. The moment they put in their information, they get added to a smart campaign. And you can leverage these smart campaigns in intelligent ways. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Another tool that I want you to start leveraging with your open houses is landing pages. Remember that video that I spoke about before? Yeah, you can embed that YouTube video that you created of you doing the walkthrough into a landing page. And you can send that out. And you can customize the hashtags on that landing page. So immediately, they start getting campaigns going to them. So these are tools that are all included in your KV Core platform. Landing pages, that mass email, targeting matching buyers. Those are all things that are available to you. And I'm going to highly implore that you start using. Another thing is your blog, right? I want to put that video in a blog. Backlinks on backlinks on backlinks. Why do I care about this? SEO, search engine optimization. The more that Google sees that new data is being created, and when those backlinks are strong, like YouTube, they start to prioritize your page because you're constantly adding new information. Okay, so think about this. Getting an open house is so much greater than just, yes, I got a listing. Yeah, you could be excited. But it's also an opportunity to boost your SEO. It's an opportunity to connect with buyers in your database. It's an opportunity to show the neighborhood how good of a listing agent you are. It's, it, it becomes this virtuous cycle. And the more you leverage it and the smarter you are about it, the more listings you can get with it. Let's talk about the scripts. Let's talk about what to say when they come into your open house. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is, welcome. Please come in. My name is Brent. I'm with XYZ Real Estate. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Do you live in the neighborhood or are you just looking at houses today? The sellers have asked everyone to sign in for protection purposes. Would you sign in, please? Come in. Take a look around. Hear what I said there. The sellers have asked everyone to sign in. This is important. I'm not going to get into the whole psycho like, psychology behind this. But it's not me. I didn't say it. All right? I didn't say it. The sellers said it. It has more credence, more validity. It's not just me trying to get a lead out of you. It's not just me. Now, I know some real estate agents are like, well, what if they have a real estate agent? What if they were sent by a real estate agent? Well, if, they were, if they're with their real estate agent right there, great. I'm going to ask that you sign in, Mr. or Mrs. Real Estate Agent. That's great. And again, now they're going to be part of my network. I want to grab coffee with them. I want to get to know them. Why? Because that expands my network, it expands my ability to do my job effectively. And I know real estate is getting tighter. I'm not ignoring that. But we're not in a zero-sum game. 
there's opportunity for everyone. There's still millions of sales nationally speaking. So there's opportunity for good people to network and connect with one another. So please sign in. Let's say they were sent by a real estate agent and they weren't there. Well, I'm going to ask this question. Did the real estate agent that sent them contact me? If so, I absolutely want to respect that. I absolutely want to respect that. Let's say they said, I just was sent by a real estate agent. I don't have their name. I don't have their number. And how many of us have dealt with that, right? Of course. Of course. A lot of people just say they're with a real estate agent and don't really mean it. Now, if they have a card, if they have information, great. But a lot of times they, they use that as a bartering chip because they don't want to be bothered. Well, the seller asked everyone to sign in for protection purposes. Would you sign in, please? It removes the friction point. Come in, take a look around. Now, I know some of you are in hot seller's markets. I, myself, my area has, a, has less than a two-month absorption rate in the area. So we're still getting open houses that have 30, 40 people. It's, it hasn't changed in three years where I live. And I know some of you are doing that. And you're sitting there saying, my God, Brent, there is no way I can have a conversation with every single person like this. Well, let's eliminate the people with real estate agents. Let's eliminate the people that gave you cards of real estate agents and have the conversation with those who don't, okay? I'm going to ask, if they say, I'm out looking, here's the script I'm going to use. How long have you been looking for a home? How are you searching for properties now? Have you seen any properties you liked? Are you also looking in other areas? Tell me about that. If you found the perfect home, how soon would you like to move in? What's your price range? Whatever they say, good for you. Good for you. Have you spoken with a lender and have been pre-approved? I'm not going to hold them to it. I'm not going to hold them to anything. Well, if you're interested, I know of a few additional homes that are coming to the market. Um, would you like to see one of them? When is the best time to, for you to see a property? Great. Let's get together this time, this date. Before we meet, are you opposed to meeting with another lender? Because I know a few that always give really great rates, have great programs, and most importantly, they get the job done. Would you be opposed to getting a second opinion on your browsing options? Obviously, if they said they did have a lender. If they didn't, great. Can I introduce you to a couple of people? What's the best phone number and email for you? I want to make sure I have that written down. All right, I want to take a second here. So if they're out looking, these are the questions I want to ask. But if they say I'm from the neighborhood, because again, even though I door knock, I probably only door knocked a certain geographical area and I left out another geographical area that's going to start to come to the open house. And again, when I have someone that's just out looking, I want to have this conversation. I want to build value. And the chances that they need to sell in order to buy is probably around 30%. From the neighborhood, it's probably a smidge higher because they're not necessarily looking to buy that home. They're looking to see what that house is like so they could compare it to their own. Meaning that if they're from the neighborhood, the chances of them being a seller are much, much higher. And if I go back to the beginning of what I was saying, if I go back to the beginning, your opportunity here is not just to sell this home, but to get other listings. So if they're from the neighborhood. How long have you lived in the neighborhood? But for you, if you were to sell your home, you see, I'm going right into it. I'm being assumptive here. If you were to sell your home, where would you move to? Whatever they say, terrific. How soon would you like to be there? Right now, I'm understanding their motivation. They never explicitly said they were a seller, but I'm having this conversation. I'm diving deep with them into it. So what's causing you to move there? Do you have a plan B in case that doesn't work out? And then I'm going to hit them with this. Are you opposed to scheduling an appointment so I can show you what myself and my company can do to make this move good for you? And then I'm going to give two times. Which is better for you? This time or this time? Which would be better? Okay, so I'm going to take you through the entire process. And um, yeah, so it, this is an open house class with the um, reference of KV Core. In embedded into it. So utilizing the tips and tricks that are in KV Core, as well as the scripting to go along with it. So it's a very practical application. And again, I was on a team that sold several hundred deals a year, uh, myself being in production and being a part of that. And I want to give you some of the tips and tricks to answer the Q&A question that just came in.
So I want to summarize this for you all, because I think this is going to be valuable as, as you start to analyze this. You're going to start with that email to the database. Okay. And I want you to think of this email to the database by matching buyers, right? So go into your KV core. We have a matching buyers um, field in our playbook. I want you to leverage that, right? So you go to listings playbook. It's right in there, match buyers. You could also email other um, real estate agents. And again, depending on how you want to do it, if it's a luxury listing, maybe you want to have a broker open house, but you're going to email your entire database that matches this home. And you're going to create a video. And again, my recommendation is do the video when you're doing pictures. When you're doing pictures, do this video on you, put it on YouTube, and then you can use it in your blog. You, you can use it in your landing page that you create for this, that you share on social media. Okay, so again, you're using these tools that we have in KV Core. You're using landing pages, using squeeze pages. You're using the blog feature. You're leveraging all of that. You're leveraging all of that. You could even do it in a way in your SEO. Let's say it's in a specific area, right? We'll use Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm doing an open house in Salt Lake City. I might want to go to Salt Lake City in my SEO if I was a Salt Lake City, Utah agent. And I want to include this open house video in the body of Salt Lake City because then when someone's searching on my areas, that video will populate. And all those resources are in your KV Core. You could search for how to do that specifically with SEO. After I've emailed my database, created my landing pages, shared it on social media, got this going, got this out, I'm going to go and I'm going to do some physical stuff. I'm going to knock on the door three times, three times. Once. When the deal is first, you know, when I put, first put my um, sign in the ground, second, when the deal goes under contract, and third, when that house closes. I'm going to have a welcome script because I want everyone to sign in on my KV Core open house app. Those leads get directly filtered into my database, and I'm going to leverage smart campaigns here. Smart campaigns specifically for open houses. Because that is going to start sending text and emails to those individuals that have signed into my app immediately. Immediately. Last but not least, if they're out looking, I'm going to have a very simple script with them just to kind of understand them, get them in my database, get them to see the value. Again, people that are generally out looking, there's about 30% chance that they are also sellers as well as buyers. And then finally, the people that are from the neighborhood, there's a very, very high chance that they are. And remember, in all these times, with the exception of the people from the neighborhood, I'm always asking, who do you know would be interested in selling their home versus the person that's for looking from the neighborhood? I'm just going to be very assumptive that they also want to sell. So again, I want to open it up to the Q&A. I want to open it up. I want, if you have questions, uh, let me know. And I will be glad, glad to answer them. So throw them in the q and I'm glad to answer. Don't be shy. Any question is good here. Great. Well, if no one has any questions, I really hope that was valuable to you. Again, open houses are a great way for you to leverage that open house to get more. And you have great KV Core tools available to you. Um, and again, just to reemphasize, you have your um, open house app available to you. You have um, blogging, you have SEO, you have landing pages, you have um, mass emails, and of course, your listing playbook. So. If, if no one else has any uh, specific questions about your KV Core related to open houses, um, that's it. So yeah, so if you do have questions, I'm gonna stop the recording now.